Hello, my name is Andre O'Brien from Inoculate Vision and Design, and this is the Match Move Assistant for Modo 401 tutorial. Um, today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Match Move Assistant for Modo 401 in conjunction with um, the Pixel Farms uh, PFO Pro application, tracking application, um, to import um, tracking data into Modo for use as a compositing tool with live action footage and CGI. So, in um, CGI elements. So, in the interest of time, I have already um, tracked the shot. Um, you'll note that the shot, the AVI is, uh, the resolution is 640 by 480, 30 frames per second with 271 frames, and the shot is letterboxed, which is a no-no. Uh, the reason why the track still worked is because the original shot that I used for this, uh, for, for PF Home, I miss and deleted. So I just happened to export um, that original shot in letterbox form. Um, actually, I did it ac accidentally. There's a lot of accidents going on over here. Um, but as you can see, the trackers are still locked to um, the, the specific um, points in the scene, and it worked very well. Okay, once you uh, for uh, a two, you know if you go to www.pfho.com, uh, there's a wealth of tutorials out there that show you how to um, get to this step. Okay, once we have a scene tracked, we're going to browse and go to uh, make sure that you save inside of the Match Move Assistant for Moto 401 folder. And uh, make sure that the, uh, I'm sorry, what did I do here? Uh, make sure that you select the XML file and you can scale it to one. You're gonna wanna play around with the scale, um, but you'll do that uh, later. Um, it depends on the size of the objects in your scene in Modo, but you can play around with the scale. One is good for our purposes. Um, we're gonna save it out and now we're ready to go to Modo. I'm sorry. For, uh, now we're ready to go to Match Move Assistant. As you can see, uh, that XML file was saved inside of uh, Match Move Assistant for Moto. Start the utility and information about the utility displays as well as um, your license information. Um, hit enter and please enter the name of the PFO XML file. If you would like to convert, the name of our file is train2 underscore AVI. You do not need to enter in the extension hit enter and the utility will uh, let you know that 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 our script has been created for Modo. you can close that out and if we scroll down we'll see that the Python script for Modo has been created um, if you don't have um, Python 2.4 installed on your um, PC or Mac um, don't worry the script will still work within Modo. however you just won't have this little um, cool Python icon okay once we have that now we can go to Modo. We want to go to um, the menu bar, System, Run Script, or you can just hit Shift F5 and select uh, the script that we just exported from uh, Match Move Assistant for Moto 401. And it's going to take a second, but we are importing the data. Okay, if we select the PFO camera, we'll see that the data has been imported along with these tracks in the scene. Okay, these tracks um, we're going to use to orient our objects once we import them into the scene. Um, so let's do that right now. Let's select the default main camera and let's go to the layout um, tab and import the cartoon chicken. Now I'm going to use the mouse roller to zoom in. I'm going to use shift and alt to move the camera around as so to translate the camera and we're going to use alt and the left mouse key to uh, rotate. Uh, once you import an object into the scene, uh, the object will be uh, imported to the center of the scene and the trackers are centered in the scene as well. So the object will come in oriented with the scene. Uh, however, we want to move this guy over a little bit. So we're going to use the translation manipulator and we're going to move him back to one of the tracks that's a little further in the scene. Now this process is a little bit more difficult than you might think, but actually I may have done it on the first try. Cool. I was going for this track right here, so it looks like I did it. Um, we'll know soon enough once we try to compile.
deposit this shot. Okay, so we can move back a little bit. Uh, now we want to go to the uh, animate and we want to go to the PFO camera. And let's turn the chicken around a little bit. Select them here. And we're going to rotate this chicken around just a little bit. There we go. So he's facing us. Um, now what we want to do is we want to go to the shader tree. And in the environment, we want to add, oops, in the environment, we want to add a layer. We want to add an image map. And we want to load the sequence of images that will comprise our background footage. Um, with that selected, we want to go to the texture locator. And we want to uh, make sure that the projection type is front. And the camera that we want to project that onto is the PFO camera. As you can see, the tracks are aligned to the background shot pretty good. Um, our next step is to go back to item and now we're going to select the PFO camera and we want to make sure that the order of rotations is set to X, Z, Y. It does make a huge difference with the motion. Okay, with everything set, we hit play and we can see that the chicken is perfectly matched um, with our scene. And it is that simple. Um, if you want to see what that final output, now all that's left to do is to a render the scene out. Oh, when you render the scene out, you want to make sure that when you go to render, make sure, uh, well, first let's go to the render tab and let's make sure that the PFO camera is the render camera. Um, when you go to render, excuse me, make sure that you render the animation with an image sequence. Excuse me. Um, the number of frames in the shot should already be set. Um, use the image sequence and you can select your favorite, um, you know, JPEG or bitmap, what have you. Um, um, you have to use the image sequence because the movie, the move, uh, the movie uh, export is not very good. So there you have it. Um, it's a very easy utility to use. And here is a shot of the export once it's done. Okay. Um, note that I didn't add any, uh, I didn't do any shadow catching in the background. You guys can, um, if you go to www.luxology.com, um, there's a wealth of tutorials on how to use a modo, um, among which we'll show you how to add uh, shadows to the scene. Um, you can see this is an easy, this is an easy um, utility to use, and it finally marries um, PFO, PFO Pro with um, Luxology's, I'm sorry, modo 404, I'm sorry, 401. Um, this application um, retails for $44.95. Um, please contact me at uh, forgedbyflash at ALY.com. That's forgedbyflash at ALY.com. I'm also going to post on the um, Luxology on forums as well as the PFO forums information on how to get in contact me and get in contact with me so that you can um, purchase this, um, this pretty cool um, utility. Uh, uh, Moto ships with uh, Python, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 2.6. But I was having problems with uh, the uh, script. I was having problems with the compile uh, function in 2.6, so I still use 2.4. For those of you who have Max, please use the. Uh, for those of you who have Max, excuse me. For those of you who are still using, uh, I'm sorry, not still. For those of you who are using Max, please make sure that you have Python 2.4 installed in your system. Um, it would help if 2.4 was the main um, uh, Python uh, installation on your system. If it's not, then you can um, then you're going to have to uh, run a Match Move Assistant for Modo from your interpreter and make sure that you select Python 2.4 as your interpreter before you try to run um, the Modo script. Okay. Um, Thank you for watching this tutorial. My name is Andre O'Brien from Monocle Vision and Design, and this has been the Match Move Assistant for Modo uh, 401 tutorial. Um, I have not tested this for um, any other version of Modo, but um, whatever versions of Modo ship with Python 2.4, um, this should work. Okay. Thanks again, and uh, this again. This has been. Um, uh, Andrew O'Brien from Inoculate Vision and Design, and uh, take care.